Tell the truth. I have a horrible feeling that I'm a greedy, perverted, selfish, apathetic, cynical, depraved, morally bankrupt woman who can't even call herself a feminist. Don't let me hate you. Loving you is painful enough. I opened the cafe with my friend Boo. She's dead now. She accidentally killed herself. It wasn't her intention, but it wasn't a total accident. She didn't actually think she'd die. She just found out that her boyfriend fucked someone else. <laughs> An 11-year-old boy was put in juvenile prison for repeatedly sticking rubber-ended pencils up this school hamster's asshole. What? Yeah. Why would they do that? Apparently he liked it when their eyes popped out. No, why would they send him away? He needs help. Fair point. And anyway, that's the very reason why they put rubbers on the end of pencils. Because people make mistakes. I just can't stop conjuring an image of you sitting around that cafe, just all alone, feeling so terribly lonely. You don't take yourself seriously. You need to reach out to your family. You need to stop provoking your sister, just grow up. You do not take yourself seriously as a businesswoman. You need to pay your fucking bills. Maybe it's time to let the little restaurant go. Give it up. Sell it, have a little holiday. Whatever happens, we never let it go, okay? Your father and I often say, when you've had a few drinks, you're so like your mother. We... we can try. And that's what this show is really about. It's about power. I'm just going to say this once. I deserve to be happy. I am allowed to move on. I have a good life, and I am happy all night. Jesus, why do daughters get to say that they're fucked up by their fathers when it's so often the other way around? He didn't try to kiss you. He did. He says it was more like the other way around. What? That's just not true. No, fuck you. Claire, please don't. No, Claire, please. he came out into the garden. I don't want to hear he... it. Claire, you have to believe me. How can I believe you? Because I'm your sister. After what you did to Boo. <laughs> Do you think about your friend? all the time. And I fuck my friend by fucking her boyfriend. <laughs> and sometimes I wish I didn't even know that fucking existed. <laughs> And that I know that my body, as it is now, really is the only thing I have left. And when that gets old and unfuckable, I may as well just kill it. You know, everyone feels like this is a little bit, and they're just not talking about it. Or I am completely fucking alone. People make mistakes. That's why they put rubbers on the ends of pencils. <laughs>